Well, here's a short story about a guy, this poor, poor guy who's going through a terrible time in his life and is about to get the wrath of Reddit and everybody else after finding out that his baby boy is not his. And now he wants to give him away, and you're about to see how this whole thing goes. Titled, Am I the a-hole for wanting to give up, give up my son after discovering he isn't mine? And a shout to Nick for sending this story. He says here, The situation is nothing short of a cluster, F-U-C-K. I'm angry, depressed, and sad, and I don't know what to do. I'm 32 years old, and I'm shattered and don't know where to turn. My wife passed away last month, only after seven months after giving birth to our son. She developed uh, some issue I, which I can't pronounce, which is a rare and severe form of heart failure that can occur in the months following childbirth. Despite the doctor's best efforts, she didn't survive. Losing her so suddenly has left me heartbroken and a state of constant grief. Right after giving birth to the kid, he loses his wife. To, up until this moment, he thought it was obviously a great wife. And now he's alone with a baby. I mean, he is devastated losing her. Baby doesn't have a mama. And it's tough for the baby. We're not done yet. Three weeks ago, my wife's best friend came over to visit. She was visibly nervous and eventually told me she had something sensitive to share. After some hesitation, she revealed that my wife had confided in her that she's been unfaithful around the time our son was conceived and there was a chance he might not be mine. Oh my God. Now he finds out that the wife he just lost, who he loved up until that moment, was a big giant cheater and the kid might not be his. You know, he's probably throwing his hands in the air saying, why God, why? I was stunned and angry. My wife's best friend was telling me this only weeks after my wife's death, and I felt like an attempt to tarnish her memory. I couldn't believe it. I think it's more like he wouldn't believe it. I told her to leave and not come back, convinced she was lying or trying to blame shift me somehow. The whole thing felt like a betrayal, and I tried to push the thought out of my mind. I think this guy was just so overwhelmed with everything and grief that just he just couldn't believe it. But when he calms down, watch how he handles it. But once the idea was planted, it would not go away. I kept wondering, what if she was telling the truth? After days of tormenting myself with the possibility, I decided to get a DNA test. It wasn't an easy decision, but I felt guilty for even considering it, but I needed closure. This guy had to know, and he has a right to know. Yesterday, the results came back. My worst fears were confirmed. My son is not biologically mine. He's getting worse and worse. Loses his wife. He's heartbroken. Then finds out that the wife he lost was a big giant cheater. Then the possibility the kid isn't his. Now this isn't his. And for seven months, he's obviously developed a bond with this kid. Loved this baby. And I'm sure it's a great, great baby. And you know what I also feel bad here? The baby. It's not the baby's fault. But this guy, you can't blame him for not wanting to raise someone else's kid. I mean, you know, at least it's a baby. Now I'm in turmoil. I love my wife, and I wanted to believe our son was a piece of her and me together. But knowing he's not biologically mine has left me feeling lost and betrayed. I kept looking at him and trying to feel some, some bond, but the pain of my wife's infidelity is so fresh, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to move past it. Bro, this is a darn close to an impossible situation, but you have every right to feel the way you do. I feel off me considering it, but I don't know if I can raise him on my own. The betrayal I feel is overwhelming, and I don't know if I'm capable of giving him the love and care he deserves. It's breaking my heart, and I feel like a failure, but I also feel like I'm not equipped to give him the love, he, the life he deserves. Look, at the end of the day, you're allowed to make that choice. It's not like he's a little kid who's aware, truly developed a bond with you. It, you know, it's a seven-month-year-old baby, you know? But, uh, <laughs> God, this is a tough situation. But... Also, but the baby's also innocent, you know? He also says, I hadn't thought of contacting the friend, but I will now. The replies have really solidified what I've been feeling. The child is innocent, but I don't think I'd be able to love or care for him as well as I should. Informing the family would be my first step, then contacting the AP if possible. AP is a fair partner. Adoption is going to be my last resort. Many of you may believe I'm a monster, but put yourself in my situation. I hope you all understand. Yeah, people that always come out with torches and pitchforks to these guys or people in tough situations, they always act so righteous. But if, it, if, if these people were in his or her shoes, whatever the situation is, I'm sure they'd be different. But at the end of the day, everybody's a fucking hypocrite. He also says, so I called her friend. I apologized for my behavior, but also asked why did she not inform me as soon as she knew. Dude, come on. She's going to have loyalty to the girl. 
She said her loyalties lay with her friend more than me. Okay, fine. I asked her about the affair partner, and she said she doesn't know it as it was a one-time thing. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Girls talk. You can't tell me that his now deceased wife didn't show pictures or something. <clears throat> Apparently, it happened during the, her work time, whatever that meant, and during daytime, as she's been told. Oh, so multiple times. I mean, I'm not fully understanding, but it seems like she effed the guy when she was supposed to be working. Many are suggesting I go through her phone or other social contacts, but I don't know any passwords. I never doubted her. We weren't controlling each other and have had given plenty of privacy. The next step is informing her family, both mine and hers. I'm adding another thing. I don't hate the baby. I'm not so deranged I throw him out of the house. Whatever happens, happens according to procedure, and I'm not going to instantly abandon a kid just because he isn't mine. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people overreacted to that. Of course, of course, he's not going to do that. But he needs to tell, he needs to control the narrative and tell his family and her family. And uh, frankly, her family can raise the child. Now, of course, his family and her family are going to say that they don't believe it. So he's going to have to show proof, and they're going to say that, you know, she messed up one time, and and this is a, this is the last thing of her, you know, and all that. But at the other day, he has to take care of himself. If he truly feels that. I'll never be able to give this child the life it deserves because this is a baby. This is a life deserves love and kindness and all that. Then approach her family because I'm sure obviously her family's hurting. They lost her, so this baby is a as a piece of her. So perhaps they can raise the baby, you know. And maybe he can even go so far as look, I'll contribute in some way, but not on paper. Some way, somehow. But then again, if he might do that, then maybe it could be argued that he has to pay for something. And if he's on the birth certificate, that complicates things more. But who the hell knows? It's a family law attorney and social services. First thing he needs to do is talk to a family lawyer, find out his options here. But what a mess. So anyhow, I can't blame the guy. But this goes to show the type of crap guys can get into. And I feel bad about him. So guys, definitely chime in what you think. I'm going to read a few comments here. One, Listen to this. First one. Social worker. Says so social worker here. Says the uh, the original poster was married at the time of wife's death. He is considered the legal father in the eyes of the family court. There you go. At this time, DNA has established he's not the biological father. Therefore, he will need to have his parental rights terminated to avoid any legal responsibility to the affair child. Opie needs to contact the family law attorney and start legal proceedings to identify the biological father and terminate his rights. Okay, whether that poster is a actual social worker or not sounds pretty convincing to me. Any social workers out there chime in? Another one. Not the a-hole. Uh, that child will feel that child will feel that hesitation and frustration by the time he's in kindergarten. He won't understand why, but he'll feel sense he'll sense the mood no matter how well you try to ma mask it. Feelings aren't right or wrong; they're just feelings, but they, they can definitely influence others. Your late wife presumably had li living relatives. Contact them about it and involve them in the situation. I wouldn't just hand the baby over to the state without telling them, but if an actual relative is willing to step up, that would be the better outcome. Yeah, don't expect people to just be jumping up and down to take a baby. I mean, that's an enormous, enormous, life-changing, not to mention financially changing situation, but at least reach out to them, you know. But he's, he's, in, he's oh God, uphill battle here, you know. Anyhow, one more. It says, not the a-hole for being upset, but you may be considered the legal father whether the child is not biologically yours or not. You need to consult a lawyer to find out what the laws are in your state. In most cases, the husband in a marriage is legal, legally considered the child's father regardless of who the biological dad is. You have to go through the legal process to sever ties with this child. You'll need to go through the court process and present the DNA results at the least. Then you'll have to find someone else to take over the child's care and legally adopt them before you can abdicate responsibility. Only an attorney can tell you this. And this goes on goes on and on, but we all get the fucking point here. But anyhow, what a shame. So anyway, guys, let's hear what you have to say in this situation. Do any of you guys know anybody this happened to? I'd like to hear about it in the comment section.